What is up, YouTube? It's been a bit, but we're back in the bait room. And I'm going to pull up uh, YouTube on my laptop so I can follow along with you guys in the comment section. Let me adjust this camera just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to scrim the bottom of it so it's nice and even or that'll bother me the whole time. So, got a cool show uh, tonight here, YouTube. What's up, Tristan? Uh, I am going to, uh, I've got a bunch of packages in the mail lately. So I'm going to show you guys what all I have got in, how to get them. Uh, I've got an exclusive coupon from Trophy Bass Companies uh, to save you 20% on any of your purchase over there um so i'm pretty excited about that what's up matt uh i'm pulling up youtube right now hope you guys have been doing okay, hope you guys have been doing okay. i'm sorry that i haven't been uploading a whole lot of content lately uh i've been really busy i work nights matter of fact i gotta go in tonight as well uh thanks mike um but i don't have to go in until like 10 30 so after the show i'm gonna take me a quick nap i'm gonna go build some windows and then I'm going to work on build, bringing more content this week. If you don't follow me here on YouTube, be sure to follow me over on Facebook. Uh, my page is Kevin the Bakeman Baxter. And so I do all that. What's up, J Jack? Uh, what's up, Chris? Uh, so I have got a lot of stuff in. And uh, I'm going to show you guys. First, you know, I'm affiliated with mystery tackle box and this is this month's box and I, I just cut it open just a second ago so let's see what's in there see if there's any goods lately the mtb pro boxes have been really good so i'm going to tell you uh about the baits in this box yay or nay uh you know for the most part the last five or six uh boxes uh have been really nice for 25 bucks or whatever they are you definitely get your money's worth I do not do ice fishing. Matter of fact, I don't even like duck hunting in the ice. So, so we'll open this up. First thing I see here is uh, this Crank X uh, square bill. Pretty generic, not gonna lie. Uh, it has that uh, 1.5, the Crush 50X style body. Uh, chartreuse red, not a bad color. I could do with that the blue on the face. Uh, it is what it is, but Overall, not a bad square bill. Uh, let's see. Next, now this is a good looking bait. This is the Dobbins D, -bla D Blade. Double nickel blade. So nickel is silver for you guys that don't know. And uh, this is a, th a half ounce. Color is Shimmer Shad. I, that's a good spinner bait. That's about an $8 spinner bait, believe it or not. Uh, I know Gary uh, did a, a lot on the design of the spinner bait. I'm gonna pull it out of the package to be honest with you and show you what makes this spinner bait cool because I love spinner baits, man. Um, that's all I used to want to throw was a spinner bait and then I learned uh, there's more to life than throwing spinner baits everywhere. And uh, believe it or not, I used to not fish ledges on Kentucky Lake and I would just throw a spinner bait all year long. And I could catch them, but not like those other guys. So, Let's pull this guy out. These little vacuum packs are always notorious for making it harder than it really is. Trash. So here's this Dobbin spinner bait that's in your MTB box. First thing I like about this spinner bait, see that triangular head? That's going to come through the water uh, really well. It's got a pretty thin wire. Uh, it's not the thinnest I've ever seen. Uh, it does have a little flex to it. One thing I like, this skirt is not overly huge, so you're going to have a small uh, bait fish profile. It has a very long hook, and it's got two little barbs on there, uh, so if you want to put any kind of trailer. I've been having a lot of luck putting a Kitek 3.8 on the back of a spinner bait. Uh, what's my favorite brand of spinner bait? That's a good question. Uh, I'm a big Accent fan. I really like these spinner baits right here uh, from Angler Assets. Uh, matter of fact, I love this color. He calls this plasma table rock. Uh, and you can get those uh, from Angler Assets. Look up Robert Danielson on Facebook. Uh, he builds an awesome spinner base. Sponsors Bassmaster Pro, Frank Talley, and Brock Mosley. Uh, these are really good spinner baits. Very thin wire, hand built here in the United States. 
and he'll go crazy on these skirts. I like a Nichols blade a lot. Uh, and I like, if I want to throw a real thin wire, I really like a War Eagle. I don't venture too much out of that. I will throw a Strike King occasionally. Uh, I like the Omega Genesis TI. Those are really good spinner baits, but I like this Dobbins. I'm interested to throw this. I really like the small profile of that. So that that's good. That's in this MTB box this month. Um, do I like titanium wires? Yes and no. Uh, I have had some old Terminators break. I love the old Terminator night spinner baits. If you have any, uh, let me know. The 4S crankbait from Strike King. Very good. Uh, Zach, I actually have one somewhere. I I've lost it, uh, but they gave me one at ICAST. It's a good spinner bait. It's a really good spinner bait. Uh, this one was half ounce. Thanks, Mountain Dew, my newest sponsor. Uh, let's see what else is in this MTB box. Uh, huh, a four pack of Rage Menace grubs. So I'm not going to talk about this a whole lot. Y'all know the Rage Menace is an awesome bait, super versatile, great wintertime bait, uh, great fall bait, great jig trailer. You can use it on a rugby head or, or swing head. This is a really good good bait. Very versatile. So I like that. That They're just not sending you one-trick ponies. You can do more than one thing. Yeah, it is a four-pack. They don't send you a full retail pack. If I could choose one brand of rod, what would it be? I mean, right now I got a full rack of sticks, and I like those very well. Um, if I had to choose one, uh, I'd probably throw all G Loomis, to be honest with you. I mean, they are the pinnacle. Um, there's so many different combinations out there, um, but I, I, man, I've used them all. Nothing compares to Loomis. Saying that, though, that would be on the high end, you know, the, the $500 plus. When you get to the $100 to $300, there's so many different good choices out there. I mean, I've been using the Styx rods now for about a month. Um... Honestly, for 100 bucks, probably one of the better rods out there. Very versatile. You can do lots of things. All you really need is those six rods. And right now for Christmas, they're doing a, you buy six, you get one free. So 500 bucks, you get the whole set. Uh, do like the X-Pride. That's a really good rod. Really good. I like Dobbins. Y'all seen my channel. I love the Dive with the Tula Elites. I like some custom rods. I like Denali rods. Uh, man... There's so many good rod companies out there right now. Uh, Shimano makes awesome rods. The Zodius, uh, the new SLX. Those are really great rods. Hopefully I can get a few of them in um, to show you guys. What's up, Pat McCarthy? Um, let's finish this box off here. So here's a little blade bait uh, from Death Stalker Lures. I like blade baits. Uh, really good in the winter. You can fish them vertical, or I like to throw them out there and yo-yo them back to the boat. Um, this one is a half ounce. That'll work. Let's see what else is in this MTB. Another generic crankbait. This is from Reaction Strike. Kind of like, uh, it's kind of a shad wrappish, but it's a little thinner. Great uh, mid-depth crankbait, it looks like. Not a big Reaction Strike fan. Again, this one's kind of generic. Uh, probably all right up north in that perch pattern. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, they did throw a rear-loaded swing jig in here. So, hey, for your mini uh, menace grubs, there you go. You just slow roll that sucker on, on the bottom. What's up, Charlie Blanchard? What's up, my buddy Dustin Taylor? Hope you're doing good. Oh, they sent uh, Big Bite Baits. Uh, sent some little shads. So you know what I'm going to do with these things. So I'm going to put this guy right here. You could do several things. Kind of like a swimming fluke junior. I would go light ball head, slow roller on the bottom, or a rig. And that sucker right there will work. You could even put this on the back of that spinner bait. Kind of like, this is kind of like a Kitech Easy Shiner. It's not... It's a little thinner than a fluke. Would you rather go with the LTB, MTB, or the Six Cents bot? If, if you could afford it, I would go both. The cool thing about MTB is you're going to get some stuff you wouldn't ever use or may not know about. Uh, with Six Cents, you're going to know what you're getting, which is not a bad thing because I love Six Cents. 
working with Casey. We're going to try to get that Bateman box done. We've been exchanging some emails. Lots of great things coming from Sixth Sense. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be good. They just come out with the Cloud Six this week. Uh, we've got some new colors. Uh, I've seen some new prototype baits. I can't disclose anything about them, but they're coming this spring. Uh, it's going to be a good ride for Six Sense Loader. So excited about them. Last thing I got in here is uh, this little swim bait, this Strike Pro swim bait. Um, it's pretty small. I mean, this is probably, it says uh, 2.4 inches. Probably a good uh, pond bait. Uh, you could throw it on a lake that's got some small forge. If I'm going to throw a swim bait, I'm going big or I'm going home. Uh, Unless I'm targeting fish with small contact, something like this, I'm going to go pretty big on it. So. Overall, not a bad box. Uh, would I buy it again? Yeah, I probably would. Uh, I mean, honestly, the Dobbin Spinner Bait, I was pretty excited about it. I, I like those. Josh, I've been so busy, and Mike is so behind at Bullshed making them 4-inch ones. I have not asked him for one yet. And I would feel really bad to bother him. Uh, but I know a lot of people that's got them and they really like that 4-inch bullshad. Uh, the good thing about Mike's baits, uh, when you buy a bullshad, you're buying an American-made product. comes right out of his garage there outside Chattanooga. Uh, he puts his research and development into each bait. So that's really exciting. I'll answer a few more questions and we're going to open some more mail. Um, yeah, I'll, I might call it the jank box. Most of that stuff was junk. Well, it depends. Some people's junk is another guy's treasure. You know, there's a lot of stuff I could call junk because I don't use it. There's a lot of stuff people would tell me uh, that I got that's junk because they don't use it. So, you know, it is what it is. These companies are around to make money. Obviously, if they put Lucky Craft and Strike King load them up, you're looking at $70, $80 retail, and that just isn't going to happen. You know, however, I would like to see a company make a really true premium box of high-end baits, if possible. You know, uh, that's why I do like the six cent six pack because you can choose what goes in your box, and that's pretty cool. What kind of rod would you throw the bullshit on? Uh, Dobbin seven ninety five is a really good one. You could throw it on the sticks um, power stick. It it handle a bullshit up to about six inches. Uh, I got a box full of stuff that just sits there. Yeah, I've got several Lucky Tackle boxes in my shed that are just, you know, I haven't even opened them. I couldn't tell you what's in there. I probably emptied like 15 of them into a big old carton. It's actually sitting under my table uh, of just stuff I'll, I don't know if I'll ever use or I just, I got so many pegs in here. I like everything, you know, nice and organized and everything would be scattered. What size rod for a babe swim bait? I like a 7.6 uh, heavy or 7.6 medium heavy. Um, the key on the babe is fishing it really slow. If you can get away with a 5.3 to 1 uh, reel, uh, go ahead. What are the bait man's two cents on the Osprey swim baits? Are they worth the extra dollars? Man, I just had a light go out. That's always nice. So I'm going to scoot over just a little bit. Always something going on. Uh, I love the uh, the Osprey. I've got uh, above me. I got some top talons in a box. Uh, very good uh, winter swim bait or slow roll. I really like those. I like the ones with the top hook. In the summer, when the fish move up a little bit shallower, or late spring, I'll go with the wing talon. Um, throw it on like a Dobbins 806, something like that. You you need some backbone throwing an Osprey. Uh, let's see, Carolina rig rod. I, I used to use it like a 7.3 medium heavy. I use it in a dial right now, like it. Uh, again, this is going to be mail call, so I'm going to get off the rods and reels and stuff like that. Because, man, honestly, I know there's videos out there that say the best rods for this price and this and that. It's all about what you like. You know, I could try to sell you anything, but. Uh, it's, it's all about what feels good in your hands. Um, last question, then I'm moving on. Uh, have you fished the Tokyo rig? Uh, that is a negative, Chris, but it looks really cool. And 
I kind of like the concept of that. So, moving on, my next uh, batch of baits comes from a company out of California, uh, and I got these from Carolina Crankbait Supply, uh, and they're called Catching Concepts. And so, they are a premium handmade crankbait, and the guy that makes these, his name is Herman. Uh, this is what they call a KC-1. So this is made out of California redwood. And you'll see, I, I like these because I wanted a little bit smaller replacement for that Spro Little John MD. And, and I think I found it here. Uh, I don't even know the color of this. But it's kind of like a fire crawl. It's got some red, a little purple with silver back on it. I uh, really like this. This one runs four to six feet deep. Um... These are really hard to get. Um, the only place I know to get them is Carolina Crankbait Supply, and, and they'll post a Instagram photo or Facebook. So go follow them on Instagram or Facebook. Make sure you set notifications on, uh, because as soon as they post these catching concepts, they're gone. I mean, I, I was literally, as soon as it popped up, I asked about it, and they were almost sold out. Then I got this one, which is really actually my favorite right now, uh, they call this like a, a magic crawl green or something, but to me it looks like one of my favorite all-time colors, which is root beer. Uh, it's got that orange belly I like, a little white on the bottle, green brown back, springtime killer right here, uh, and, and that's the KC one. That one goes four to six feet. Again, it's got that round bill similar to a little John. Uh, I just want to be able to go behind some people uh, throwing this bait and get. A, you get a lot wider action than a little john uh in the spring i think this is going to be really really killer um no i'm not doing hardly any fishing right now i am working a lot um favorite lucky craft crank uh probably i'll show it to you in just a second yeah chris these are about 16 to 18 bucks a piece you know most of your handmade crankbaits are um and here's another, I think this is a, uh, I forgot the name of it. I think it's FP.5. So the main difference on this one, this one's got a shorter lip and it's got that computer board uh, bill. Uh, again, I like that red fire crawl. It's really, really nice. So this one I'm going to throw in a little bit shallower. Uh, now when I'm throwing these handmade cranks, they're a little lighter than your most of your plastic cranks. They don't have rattles in them. So I'm going to give you a tip. That's when I go to like a glass rod or something like a seven foot moderate medium action rod. It lets me load that rod up a little bit more. Uh, and that's when a nice reel really helps. Something that's made for throwing light baits like your Tatula SV, a Steez, or a Cronark. Uh, even the Corrado DC uh, makes throwing these light baits a whole lot easier. But I like that... Uh, more limber rod for throwing stuff like this it helps work the bait through the cover but that's from catching concepts uh crankbaits again check out carolina crankbait supply on instagram and facebook if you're interested in these again they don't sponsor me this is something i bought on my own a while back uh and they, they ship really quick and uh the guy that owns that chad rich sent me a hat appreciate it chad um and they'll send you one of these cool decals in the mail. So, let's move on. I'm trying to stay organized. Jackal does make some excellent crankbaits. Unfortunately, my favorite they make no longer, which was the Aska. And that is one of the best square bills on the planet. Uh, the Muscle Deep is really good. So, my next package here is something... Uh, I found on Facebook and I had to have it. So I had one and I lost it and they quit making this bait. And this is a killer winter crankbait and springtime crankbait. That is a Rapala DT flat and that is my color. Chartreuse purple back. Will snatch a jaint. Uh, these are really hard to find and I'm just going to be really open. If you have any of these, so get in contact with me and I'll float you a five dollar bill or whatever. Um, I, I need a couple of these and I need some endemon. But what's really unique 
uh, number one, it's a flat sided crankbait. So you get a really, you get a tight wobble, but it's bigger than most flat sides. And it actually will dive with 10 pound line about eight feet. Um, and I like this on those transition banks, those 45 degree banks uh, in early spring. Uh, maybe you're having a little hard time casting the shad wrap. You're going to get very similar action out of this bait right here. Really love this DT Flat 7. Cannot believe they discontinued it, though. Uh, Tennessee Killer Cranks. I'm not exactly sure. Jake, I have, and I got a buddy named Brent Anderson that makes a spinnerbait called Elvis, and I'm really partial to it. Um... Uh, Brent Anderson is going to be on uh, the Baitman show this Thursday, too, um, on Facebook. So if you aren't following me on Facebook, go like my page. Brent Anderson is going to be on there. No, that is, this is not a custom color. They actually made this color. It's pretty hard to find. I, I, there's a few on eBay I've been looking at. Um, yep, Mike, that, unfortunately, it seems like all the good baits up north, uh, the pike are like, well, that's John. You're pretty much right. If it's got some purple on it, I like it. Um, now there are times I get away from it. Um, let's go on and see what else I've got here. Um, so this is um, a new company sent me a bunch of stuff. Uh, this company is called Advantage Bait Company, and they got they sent me. A swim jigs, spinner baits. See what else they've sent me here. Pretty nice size care package. They got some good looking spinner baits as well. Some great looking jigs. And I thought they had a chatter bait in here or something. So I got any Florida guys in here? Yep, Rista Raptor Killer. So this is kind of a unique little spinner bait. Um, it's got its own trailer built into it. This is kind of a golden shiner color. So I know you guys that uh, fish Florida or, or South Alabama, places in Texas, you like that, like that gold. So uh, I might go to Florida this spring. So I got this one sent to me. You can see it's got double copper blades. It's got this golden shiner like skirt. And it's got these little, uh, I'll just call them tuxedo tails. So you don't really need a trailer uh, with that. That's a great idea, uh, Charlie. They got a color called Mountain Dew. Uh, maybe we can make it Bakeman's Dew. Uh, or we'll call it Mountain Dude. But I like this spinnerbait. And what's really cool, I don't know if you can see on the, the video, these blades have. Um, have a really nice shine to them, but they got these little indentions here. Uh, they're almost like little engravings, and they really make the light reflect off of it really well. Very well built spinner bait. Uh, you can go on their website, which I think is uh, advantagebaitcompany.com or advantagebait.com, and you can order these. Uh, I think they're a little expensive. I think you're looking at 10 12 bucks, but they're all handmade, really premium components on this thing. Uh, I got another color here that looks really good. Um, I think this one's like Gizzard Shad. And I, I like it quite a bit as well. Uh, you can see this one here. Uh, I believe it, I can't remember if this is titanium wire or not. Yeah, this one's, these are titanium wire as well. So uh, they're going to hold up. Or no, they're not. Um, but this gizzard shad looks good. I really like that blue hue to it. Very bait fish like. Uh, really like those spinner baits. I mean, I, I'm a spinner bait guy. There's not going to be too many I don't like. But one thing was cool uh, is their flipping jig. And you'll notice it's got a double weed guard on it. So I don't know how many of you guys like to flip and punch mats. Uh, but I know in Florida, guys really like these double weed guards for mat fishing. I like them for fishing bushes. I got a, you know, this is a one ounce and it's cool because you've also got rattles on it if you're a jig rattle guy. Uh, it's got those little uh, trailers on here. Uh, now on the jig, I'm probably going to replace that with my own trailer, but I really like the head design. It's got a stout hook in it. So if you want to fish uh, heavy cover, uh, this would be for you. 
Uh, Travis, I just got double willow, but you can get it anything you want uh, on advantagebait.com. Hey, Cad Jerome, good to see you in here. Yeah, Tristan, uh, I think the spinnerbait market's really watered down. I think everybody's making them. There's guys on Facebook selling them. Um, you know, I know sales on Strike King spinnerbaits have been down the last couple of years. And I, and that's not a knock on striking at all. It's just, you know, that's just a lot more guys throwing chatter baits now. Swim baits have, have hurt a lot of things. How do I feel about jigs with a swinging hook? Uh, personal preference. Um, I don't throw them. Um, but that's mostly because I don't own any of them. Uh, it, I throw a structure head quite a bit. So I don't think you would have any different hookup ratio was throwing a jig with a swinging hook. Um, I would probably like that if I was going to reel it on the bottom quite a bit. Um, see what else they did. They sent me a really good looking swim jig in a bluegill color. If I can find it here. I know I just had this thing. What do I do with it? Oh yeah, check it. I do like their swim jig, this Advantage Bait swim jig. And it's got a really unique head. Uh, it's not like a triangle. It's kind of this, you know, I'll call it a rhino head. It's got that rhino head style, but I really like this bluegill color. And it looks pretty sweet with the little tails on the back. You, you put you a little Houdini colored uh, Kitek 38 on the back, or another thing I'll put is a chartreuse and blue Kitek on my bluegill swim bait, swim jigs. Really like this. I mean, custom painted head. I like this side tie. It doesn't have a tuna hook in there. Thank God. I get tired of buying swim jigs. It's got like a six sawt tuna hook in there. That you, you know, it's just hard to get into a fish. Just a medium wire. I really like the skirts, man. They did an awesome job uh, with these skirts. So if you guys are interested in those, go to advantagebait.com and check these guys out. Just a sample of what they got. Uh, you know, I, I'm due to do a giveaway on YouTube, and we might have to throw some of that in. Fortunately, we're getting cold and my fishing options are limited right now. I don't know if you guys are paying attention, but Mark Zona was supposed to go to Lake X last week and we got terrible weather. Uh, let's see. I'm going to answer a few questions. Thank you, Brad. I'm glad to be back. We're going to keep doing this every Tuesday uh, and Facebook Thursday, and I'm going to sprinkle in some YouTube videos. Uh, probably starting the next couple of days. I've just been really busy and my schedule's freeing up. Uh, and I've got five days off work. So uh, that starts Friday morning. So we may have to do a YouTube Live Christmas edition. Oh yeah, Christmas on YouTube. Uh, I'll probably get my son in that. I just bought a seven foot medium Dobbin Sierra for 115 bucks on Tackle Warehouse. Super pumped about it. Thoughts on a real fort? Man, uh, it just depends your price range. If you want to spend $99, I'd go Shimano SLX, or I would buy this reel right here, a Lose LFS. For $99, uh, there's not a whole lot better reel on the market. Uh, Daiwa Fuego is a really good one. If you want to spend more than that, uh, Tatula 100, uh, the new dial with Tatula 100, uh, Corrado DC, uh, that's in your $140, $179 range. Um, you could even look at a 13 Concept A, uh, or, um, what else has Lou's got in a 150 bucks? Maybe a tournament MB. Those are really good reels. You've got a lot of options. I think there's more options to save money on reels than rods, because I, I feel like on rods you get what you pay for you'll get some companies pop up like sticks and a few others that sell direct to consumer but they don't go to the dealers and have to mark the rods up even more uh and and you and you can find some really good rods components are so good these days have you tried the dial rg spinning reel if so what do you like about it uh i haven't tried it i've held it uh it's a nice reel for the money uh the dial Rivros is my favorite uh, spinning roll right now at forty nine ninety nine. Uh, I have not. I have it spooled up. I'm ready to go. I just got to get there and go play with it. Uh, to be honest, I, I kind of I seen a video where a guy, uh, a pro, 
I uh, took out another company, similar company's reel, and it was a piece of junk. And uh, I'm not saying that the uh, piece of fun is a piece of junk, and I'm not saying it isn't. It just worries me. Uh, this thing feels a lot better, and it's definitely quieter out of the box than his was. I mean, I'll be honest. You know, you can't go wrong with the reel for 49 or 59 bucks. You kind of know what you're getting. I mean, I wouldn't buy a $59 reel and expect metanium DC quality out of it. That's just not going to happen. Uh, just like rods, you can't buy a $20 rod and expect to have an NRX. I'll go through here with a few more questions. Then I'm going to roll on to some more mail opening. i got to move some stuff around here. Let's see... Balsa crankbaits any good this time of year? Oh, yeah, baby. Balsa is great in the winter. Matter of fact, late fall, uh, winter, and spring, that's when I throw balsa bait. Summer, early fall, not so much, but I really like the high flotation of balsa baits, especially in the winter and spring, a lot better reaction bite. Um, let's see. Brian Schmidt hair spinner bait. And do you think the Shimano Cardiff will handle bullshit? Dude, I throw a, I throw a six inch bullshit on a Corrado 200. Cardiff will handle it. Um, you don't have to have giant swim bait reels. If you could afford it though, I would go with the Tranks 200. And once you get to six inch baits or bigger, then you'll probably want the line capacity of a 300 series reel. I do know that the Lou's uh, 300 Super Duty is pretty sweet and I've heard a lot of good feedback on that uh who makes the double weed guard jig again this one right here advantage bait uh they make this i really like that is it possible to change bearing on a cheaper bait cast and make it better that's a great question i don't know if i'm qualified to answer that uh but there's more to a reel than the bearing uh and i'll be honest with you there's some people on facebook and there's some people on Instagram that claim their bearings will make your reels cast, uh, you know, 20 to 40 yards further and they can cast across a pond and you can, dude, I can go take one of my Daiwa SVs or Tatula 100s and I've got them tuned right and I can toss a half ounce LV 500 or 5 eighths out as far as I want to. The key to that distance is your line's laying on the spool perfect and your rod can load up if you got that rod load dude you can throw a mile and there's no wind anybody can be a long bomber when there's no wind uh, that's what makes the dc from shimano cool but uh, a lot of those bearings uh are made overseas and people are repackaging them calling them spooling speeding bearings or something like that and claiming they're making them man don't buy into that hype I'm telling you, Shimano is a bearing and gear company. They know what they're doing when they're making reels. Uh, Daiwa makes their own stuff, too. They're not contracting out speed and spooling bearings to put in reels and stuff. That ain't happening. Uh, you know, these companies have been around for a long time. Obviously, they know what they're doing. Uh, now, saying that, if you want to put Boca bearings in your reel, great. Uh, I, I do know they do help. They make them smooth. You will get a little bit more distance. But I've always felt like putting bearings in reel was just like putting those spinners on your uh, wheels on your car. Sure, it looks cool, but it's not really that practical. Because out of all the stuff I throw, I can only name two baits that I really bomb as far as I can. A deep crank bait and a rattle trap. Every now and then on fishing ledges, I might want to throw a jig or a worm way out there. But for the most part... I'm throwing about 35, 40 yards max. And anybody in here that says they can throw crankbait 70, 80 yards, I'm not buying it. You don't realize how far a gas that really is. So, sorry for the rant, but the bait man has no bullshit filter. Uh, and I'm just not going to tell y'all to go buy a bunch of aftermarket bearings. And for the only reason is just say, hey man, I got some aftermarket bearings in my reel. It's great. I got aftermarket exhaust on my truck. Do I think I'm better than you? No. Does it do anything? Yeah, it makes it loud. Big deal. Uh, that's right, Matt. I actually like Luce and Abu Garcia. Uh, 
Lou's has really grown on me, and I'll tell you guys why, and I got to get to unboxing some more stuff. I went to the Lou's Writers Conference about two months ago, and I shot a lot of photos that I'm going to be posting on my Instagram and stuff, and those guys treated me really well. I picked up some reels I, I've, I've not, never used in the field, which is a Hyper Mag, the new Pro TI, and man, they felt good, and I had this preconceived notion that, okay... These are loose reels. There's no way they compete with Dai or Shimano on the high end. I'm not going to say they compete, but man, that Hyper Mag is legit. I really like the Hyper Mag. It's a sweet reel. Um, is it the super same quality as a Shimano or Dai at the same price? Eh, no. But if you're a loose guy, that is the pinnacle. Love that reel. They're actually surprisingly really light. So. It is what it is. Again, no BS. That was my personal uh, feelings. Abu, I just feel like they've not done anything in the past 10 years that have really changed the real game. I think there's still... I think it's time for Revo to go away and do something else. Um, I did like the original Revo SX and SDX great reels and the premieres. I had some. Matter of fact, I sold a bunch of Cronarchs to get them. And I never had an issue at them. I've still never had an issue, but I just feel they need to do something else. And I think Berkeley hard baits and soft baits are doing awesome, but Abu's getting their tail kicked all over that rod and rail market. I'll answer a few more questions. Is the LV500 that much better than a regular rail trap? In shallow water, no. Deep water, absolutely. Uh, I love the LV500. When I'm fishing deeper than 8 to 10 feet, out to like 15, 20 feet, LB 500 is a way to go. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to move on. Uh, another jig company, uh, and this is, uh, these were sent to me a while back, and uh, this company is called uh, Trophy Bass Company, and uh, they're out of, I believe they're out of, uh, Texas, I could be wrong. Um, but they sponsor uh, FLW Pro Casey Scanlon. So they just sent me uh, some basic uh, flipping jigs or all purpose jigs and some swim jigs. Uh, so this is one of their swim jigs. It's got uh, very similar to like a nickel swim jig. Uh, this one has a fluorocarbon weed guard. Big hook, but it's not super wide, super stiff. Casey is the co owner. That's right. I like this. This is a great looking little swim jig and it's probably going to come through uh, cover really good. Uh, so I'll show off a couple cool colors. You can't go wrong with white. I think it was just a year or two ago, uh, FLW Tour event was one on a swim jig in Florida, just a plain old white. Uh, do have a nice keeper for whatever trailer you want to uh, on the back of that. So I like this. Uh, this is a, a one of those skirts. I forgot the name. It's not just a collar, it's a nice push on that's not gonna fall down. Really like this. I like how this skirt is, is flared out. So when you're pumping this swim jig, uh, cause I, the way I like to fish them, I throw it out there, I pump as I'm coming in. It's really gonna pulsate and flare. Really like that one. And then uh, this is their other jig they sent me. And so this is kind of what I would consider more like a, a all purpose jig. You can flip it, you can cast it, um, just a black and blue, but it's kind of got this little flat spot on here, and I like that. Uh, so you could skip this jig if you want to. This one's 5 eighths of an ounce. This is just a standard black and blue. Uh, again, you can go to their website, uh, trophybasscompany.com. You can use the code BAITMAN, and you'll get 20% off your order. So if you want to try some of this stuff, Go check those guys out. Let's see if they sent me some other cool colors. I might have to give a few of these away. They need to make a Baxter's bug. That's for sure. So there's your green pumpkin orange. Really like that. It's kind of a winter color for me. I like the dark green pumpkins and stuff. Uh, there's another green pumpkin one. Let's see if we got any... Man, they, they loaded me up. I appreciate that. I want to show you all this, too. This is kind of cool. This is a wacky uh, 
rig weight. So this is totally different. This is not a nail weight. You basically, bait man is probably gonna to have to get out his finesse stuff really quick. So this is a little uh, wacky weight. Can you see that right there? Got it upside down. So basically you'll put this, you know, you put your O-ring through your, your uh, worm or whatnot. You'll run your hook through your O-ring and then you rig this weight on the side of it. Let me see if I can get in to a box here and demonstrate. Oh, I can. I sure can. I'm going to demonstrate this live for you. Thank you, Bass Mafia Terminal Coffin. Always keeping my stuff protected. Some guys has had some issues. Uh, I personally haven't. And let me find a good wacky worm somewhere close by. Oh man, now I gotta get up and stretch my legs. I don't have any sinkholes, are you kidding me? Oh, man. I'll be right back. I must find a sinko. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go find something that we could uh, wacky rig. So this is just a little Mr. Twister uh, uh, pocket worm. It's actually the pocket fry. So what you would do to how to rig that, uh, you put your little worm in here, your little wacky ring tool. Hopefully you guys know how to do this, but I will show you anyway. You put it in there, figure out where you want that ring to go. I like it about halfway on the worm. Now, if I'm Neko rigging, I want that ring way down here. Take your little wacky weight from Trophy Bass Company. Take your wacky hook. This is actually a Gamakatsu drop shot split shot hook, which are pretty good for wacky rigging. I'm gonna run my hook under the band and then you can add the weight like so but what i would recommend doing actually is going backwards go through the weight first then go through the band and then you have some weight on your wacky rig right down there in the center and then that's nice and perfect. So once you obviously tie your line, you know, your weight can slide up, but it's really, the hole's so small, it's not gonna go past the eye. I really like that right there. And also, if you wanted to add more weight, you could put a second one on. So that's really cool. And I think the way this thing is shaped, it's gonna enhance the action in your wacky rig. So that's really cool. You know, they make some stuff. You can put nail weights in here. Uh, you can put those screwing weights. But if you lose your lure, you're done for. This thing, look here, if you lose your lure, you still get to keep your weight. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, split shot de definitely works too, but I really like that. That's kind of a unique deal. And I think you could find some more applications for this. I could probably glue a few on the bills of a crankbait, to be honest with you, and get a little extra depth out of it. Um, I always like accessories like that, but Again, trophybasscompany.com. Uh, you can use the code BAITMAN, get 20% off your order. Uh, again, they got some good looking jigs and stuff. And they, I'm gonna have to do a giveaway. Uh, maybe if you guys have followed me on Instagram, we can do an Instagram giveaway. I like this color right here. 
this is kind of a really bright green and brown like that they've got uh, an awesome one of my favorite all-time colors green pumpkin and blue i wish that light one had gone out and y'all could see these better man uh lots of good stuff uh from trophy bass coming here's another great looking swim jig kind of like a, a a gizzard shad color and then they've got your uh look at this you like a crappie there's a crappie swim jig i like that uh, and Casey Scanlon, I'm going to give him some props. Super, super nice guy. Uh, I've met him a couple times now. He's kind of reserved, which is fine with me. Doesn't talk a lot, but when he does talk, he's super nice. And uh, I really appreciate uh, Casey uh, and his co-owner, Travis, sending these. We're going to do an Instagram giveaway this week. I'm going to put some of this stuff on there. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Baxter the Bait Man. And... Uh, we're going we're gonna to give away a handful of these. I might have to keep a few to myself, just to be honest with you. Um, but, dude, look at this flipping jig color. That root beer pepper green. Awesome. Premium gamakatsu hooks and all these. So. Let's see. What else have I got here? Mel Call, also from VNM and Black Label Baits. Let me answer some questions and we'll get on. Uh, I learned a new trick. Take and make a double drop shot with that weight. It works awesome in conditions. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Let's see. I'm going to scroll up. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. Yeah, wacky rig uh, actually works really good in the winter, believe it or not. The water temps in my area right now are mid to low 40s, if not. We're actually getting some warmth in the day and lots of sunshine. A lot of rain last week, uh, but it's pretty cool. It's definitely near winter. So, uh, I don't know what it is, else it is everywhere else, but that's what we got going. Um, so... VNM sent me some cool stuff. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this thing right here. This is the J Proz Flash Jig. So this is kind of like a hybrid swim jig, spinner bait. Uh, back in the day, there used to be a jig called the Bulldog Swim Jig. And it had a blade on the back. So what they've done is they've made a little um, thing on the bottom of the head. Uh, so you got a blade here on your swim jig. Uh, it's not completely square. It's round. So when you're swimming it, it's going to kind of have a little wobble to it. It's got a pretty good hook on it. Uh, that's from V&M. That's a definitely cool bait. Uh, this one's like one ounce. So I'm interested to play with this thing on a ledge. Uh, I actually have a theory that this would be an awesome schooling fish bait. Uh, when those schoolers come up. Uh, tie a little swim bait on the back of this and just let it fall through the school and then reel it out. I think you would get crushed on that guy right there. Um, it has a rubber collar on it and you can actually add rattles to this collar uh, if you want to. So that's pretty cool. They sent me several different colors. Uh, they sent me plenty of stuff to do giveaway with too. So I'm really excited. I appreciate all the companies that, that we're working with. Uh, that send stuff to for YouTube and Facebook and uh, you know if they send me a hundred dollars of stuff I usually give away 90 bucks every now and then I'll keep something uh, for myself because you know you gotta have it I'm a tackle hoarder man I gotta have the coolest of the cool let's see here uh, what else did they send me uh, they sent me uh, and I think this has been out a while a couple packs of the VNM flat wild which uh, this is your basic, uh, kind of like a structure bug, beaver. Um, personally, first thing I thought was pinching those side pinchers on. And now you've kind of got just a, a really nice uh, flipping punching bait like this. The Scanlon jigs have a rubber tie. Um, and a lot of guys are going to come at me and say, Oh man, I like them hand tie skirts. 
Man, I'm just gonna tell you. Here's the deal on hand tie skirt. If you mess it up, you gotta get another jig. If you got a rubber skirt and it slips down or it falls off, you just gotta put another skirt on. I think the biggest misconception out there is <coughs> hand tied jigs are better just because it's got a wire collar. I think they look good. Uh, I definitely think they both catch fish, but day in, day out, just give me the plastic rubber collars. If it breaks, I'll slide another one on there. You know, maybe I got a jig head that uh, I really like. Um, and I want to change colors if it's hand tied. I can't do that. I can go with a rubber. I can pull my skirt off and go put another one on it instantly. Uh, that's happened to me several times. I'm really picky when it comes to the, the jig head I'm throwing. And I would rather be able to change in and out versus, well, it's a hand tied skirt. I don't want to tear it up. So I'll have to throw this other jig I'm not real confident in. So. But that's this right here. That's the VNM Flat Wild. It actually comes like this right here with these two little craw pinchers. Looks pretty cool. I like the little ribs on the side. Uh, very soft. It's got some scent on it. VNM makes pretty good stuff. I mean, you can flip this, Carolina rig it, put it on a shaky head, uh, throw it on the back of a jig, and I will tell you if you rig it this way on a chatterbait is definitely going to give you lots of really good action. Charlie, I, I think uh, what you just said, if you're into the moving baits and hard baits, and I, I, I am, uh, I think you'd be very happy with a Six Sense subscription box, especially if we get them to do Baitman box. Um, you know, I'm glad to work with MTB and LTB and all those guys, but it's not for everybody, and that's okay. And you won't ever hear me say anything bad about them, and I'm never going to say anything bad about somebody that wants to cancel their subscription because, hey, I get it. Uh, Trophy Bass Company, I think they make a box anywhere between $19, $29, and a $39 box. Um, so they've got three options out there, and... I think the last um, box, you can actually pick what comes in your box. So that's pretty cool. Kendall, you are not late to the party. I, w I would love to see a jank box. It would have all the biggest baits in there. Um, I do like that provoke. Um, so let's see, what else have I got here in a mail call? Yes, so balsa crankbaits. Black Label Balsa sent me several, several crankbaits. Uh, this is one right here. I really love this color. Now, this is uh, this is their CBS1. Very similar to like a Bagley B1. If you guys remember, this is a great looking bluegill color. Uh, Cliff Pace did all the colors on these. Um, got your little micarta lip. This is a really short, wide, wobbling square bill. Love this right here. Thoughts on CP Balsa? You mean Craig Powers? Uh, if if you mean Craig Powers, dude, he builds an awesome square bill. But this is a really good looking little crankbait. I know Tackle Warehouse has these right now, and this is the CBS one. Tristan, there's three or four different options. I tell you what. Give me just a second, get through this black label balsa, and I'll tell you the price. What's the best mono, in my opinion? 15 to 20 pound, probably maximum. Uh, I like Trilene Max as well, if they still make it. Now, here's the new, uh, newer one. This is called the Ricochet. A little bit bigger than the CBS one. Kind of reminds me of some of those Zoom WEC cranks. Uh, that's just a little sh faded chartreuse, a little powder blue. It's going to be a great spring muddy water color right there. Uh, that's another area I like balsa crankbaits is muddy water. Uh, I feel like fish really key in on these, especially these bright colors. Uh, that, that balsa has so much action. Um, it, and it's, these, are, these don't have rattles. These are silent. Yeah, I would like to see a black label balsa box. That's uh, I think you're gonna see a lot of companies move to stuff like that. Um, 
I would like to see fully customizable boxes. Dustin, when I got that, it's the first thing I said, man, that'd be a killer river bait. Um, see what else they've sent me in here. Look at this little flat side action unit. You guys know I like them flat sides. This is the, the black label slim. Uh, these are only about 15 or 16 bucks on tackle warehouse. Ooh, woo, look at this guy. Need to get some better light. Um, red and it's got that green flake in the back again there's your little micarta bill not a real heavy bait it's going to take a nice finesse bait cast setup to throw these because uh, they are light really like that bait love them flat side crank baits so in the winter i like something short and fat or i like them thin um Man, I like that bait. I mean, these paint jobs are wicked. How come the older Bagley cranks are hard to find? One, they don't last very long. So a lot of your old Bagleys blow up. Uh, the wood gets bad. The paint cracks. Um, <clears throat> Bagley was a good company. They were popular, but they weren't as popular as some others. Uh, they changed the way they made them in production, so that makes the old ones really hard to find. Unless you got one at your disposal. I actually have this for sale on Facebook right now, believe it or not. Let's uh, see what other balsa cranks a uh, cliff sent me. Here's the Ricochet Junior. Uh, this is a great little looking little crankbait. A little bit. It's uh, the baby brother to the Chartreuse one. This is kind of a foiled, sexy shad. Really good shad pattern. This should be a great fall crankbait or a shad spawn. I like fishing these uh, balsas around rip wraps. Uh, I'm not sure, Dustin. I'm sure that's uh, what you could ask. I don't like to uh, say anything that I know is untrue. I was told that PH Custom Lures was making the blanks for these. But that goes against everything I've ever been told and said that Cliff Pace makes these. So, uh, I mean, it's this handcrafted by Bassmaster Classic Cliff Pace on here. And if PH Lures was selling him the stuff, that would kind of be false advertisement. So, I know Phil makes blanks for lots of different boss of companies. And that, that's great. You know, Phil's really good. Uh, so... And this is the bait a lot of guys saw on Instagram. So if you guys like shad wraps, this is the new SS Shad. And man, I love this color. Um, Kentucky Lake, a Tennessee River, uh, Percy Priest Lake. I know those guys love the shad wrap there. Uh, Cherokee Lake, Douglas, this stuff right here. I know guys, Gunnersville on the rip wrap, killed them on a shad wrap, but... It is lighter than the Shad Wrap. Um, I haven't casted this yet, but I like that bill. And you see it's got a little little weight down here. And that's going to help with casting and everything. I actually throw my Shad Wraps on a spinning rod. So like a 7-foot spinning rod, medium light action. That's what I'm going to throw a Shad Wrap on. An like 8-pound test line. Definite cold water technique. Um... And that's really where baits like this shine in that cold water. I have not, Jack. I I just I've got a box full of old pose over here. I'm trying to sell. Uh, there's a few of them I like, but for the most part, um, kind of gone away from the old pose cedar wood. Here's another. Uh, this is the Ricochet Mini. So this is kind of like in your. 1.0 size so this is actually a pretty small boss of square bill i love this color though love that hot mustard style color that's the ricochet junior from black label balsa really like that get a little bit more finesse here in dirty water or uh you know here on kentucky lake they love that chartreuse brown in the spring uh these are silent no rattles definitely could go behind some guys and catch and fish um it's a, that's just a good looking little color. Got your two little eyes on there. And see if I got anything else from Black Label Balsa in here. That they have sent me one more bait. And they sent me a topwater bait. How thankful of them. 
kind of like a bronze B. Uh, this is called the T's. Uh, so this is a little prop bait in bone. Uh, when I like these prop baits, and I really actually like gill colors the best, is pre-spawn. Uh, when the, the brim are bedding, uh, throwing these over top is awesome. I watched Jason Quinn absolutely smash the largemouth in the middle of August on Lake Wally on a prop bait just like that by fishing brim beds. Like he could see the beds and throw this and he would catch them. No, uh, I will show my favorite Lucky Craft crank. I'll go ahead and do that. And it may not be what you think. Get it off my wall here. This guy right here, and they are discontinued. So if you find any of these, let me know. This is my favorite Lucky Craft crankbait. This is the Lucky Craft Skeet Mini DR. Uh, this color is original Tennessee shad. I'm not going to take it out of the package. Um, I'm going to actually get this one painted, but they made a root beer chartreuse color, and they make a color called Japan Crawl, and <coughs> that was called the Black Label Ricochet Junior, uh, Jake. The reason I like this bait, uh, I guess I'll try to take this one out of the package and show you. You've got a very small profile, so this is very similar to like, it's got the body shape of like that RC 1.5, it's more, this actually the body of a 1.0, but it's got this, this little square bill here, and if you'll notice, it's not real wide, and it's not perfectly round, and this guy right here will crush them. Places you'll throw like a Bandit 100, uh, or excuse me, Bandit 200, this little Skeet Mini DR will catch them. The only problem I have is once you grind the bills down quite a bit, the action will get off. And so I've got three left. And if I can find more of these, uh, I will pay a good price for them, especially in any reds or browns. Kendall, you let me know if Holmes has any of these Skeet Mini DR. I will drive to Paris uh, before I go to work one day. And come get some. Heck yeah, guys. Make sure y'all smash the like button for me. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, Mike, I do have some post 400s. Uh, I've got another box full at my dad's house. Um, when do you like switching from tight to water wobble in spring? Once the water hits about uh, 65 degrees in those bass... Uh, really get active. Actually, when it hits about 60, I like to go to something a little water wobble. Once I know the bass uh, are kind of getting off that, you know, that uh, it seems they start wanting to bite a trap more. It's a, lot, a trap is a lot more erratic. I'm going to go to a water wobbling crane bait. Or if you got a lot of muddy water, uh, I like something that's going to cause a lot of commotion in dirty water. And that's when I like that wide wobble. And then once fish really start moving shallow, I like that wide, wide wobble quite a bit. And again, there's some guys, that's all they want to throw. And that's okay. Let's see here. Gonna go, what was the, let's see. That uh, Lucky Craft dives to like uh, eight feet. And that's one reason I like it. Because it's really small. It casts really well. It actually says five to six. But I throw this on 10 pound line. So... That's another trick. A lot of these companies rate their crankbaits on 14 pound lines. So if you go down to 10, you can get another foot or two. DD 25 Spros. I guess I've never seen one of those. I'll have to look it up. Um, I'm trying to think of any other new stuff. I did get a couple new baits from another jig company. There are jig companies everywhere, and that's okay. Uh, this is from a company called Jacked Baits. So I'm sure y'all have heard of Jacked Baits. This is the KP Power Finesse Jig. And we're going to check this thing out. Uh, it has a 60 degree eye tie on it. So this is a pretty cool looking little finesse jig. This is kind of a, a, a magic crawl color skirt. Um, you see it's got the 60 degree 
uh, eye tie. Uh, it's got an angled weed guard, uh, a mustad hook on it. Um, now for a finesse jig, I like a little bit lighter wire. This one's got a pretty heavy hook. Um, it's got a little plastic keeper cone down here and it's got two little places where you can also add rattles. Uh, I know these guys make some really good colors. Uh, it's got a flat spot. I don't know if you can tell. It's got a flat spot up top. So this little finesse jig, uh, great for the Ozark Lakes, uh, your bull shows, your beaver lakes, places like that. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, there's coupon codes all over this thing. You can tap this in and get you a free jacked hat. Um, so pretty cool of them to send, send some baits. And then they sent me what they call the scatter bait bladed jig. So let's look at this. You know me, it would be hard to get me off the jack hammer. Uh, but we'll check out this scatter bait here. And this is a cool, this is actually a cool looking color. So this is a bluegill color and they call this the scatter bait. Really good looking bluegill color. It's got a flat head. You see they've got the, the split ring to attach the blade to the head. Um, I guess this is a tin. Uh, made of tin. It's got this little, uh, like a little crank wrap thing on here. Yeah, I've got some Cody. i got plenty of crank wraps. <clears throat> and that's what's on the blade of this scatter bait. Um, Looks pretty cool. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I like the color on that. If you're a bluegill guy, it's like a green pumpkin purple and some bluegill flash. Uh, if you live in a lake that's got a lot of bluegill forge, that should be a really good color for you. I like that. That's unique. And that's from Jacked Baits. They got all kinds of stuff on their website. Um, all you gotta do is go online to jackedbaits.com. Um, let them know the bait man sent you. They got several good colors in their jigs uh, over there. And I think they sell tungsten and all kinds of stuff. Again, they don't sponsor me, no affiliation. They sent me some cool stuff, so I was going to show it to you. All right. Have you heard of a company called Crank Wraps? Got that. I have not tried Ike's Micro Jig, uh, but they look awesome. Uh, Beach Coast did not get a patent on the double weed guard that I know of because that's been around for a long time. Or uh, maybe they did on the double wide. Uh, I know that Medlock Jigs was the first company doing the double weed guard and that was a long time ago, like 10 years ago. And then Fitzgerald Fishing did a double, uh, weed guard. Obviously here, Advantage Bait Company, a double weed guard, so... I don't think they'd get a patent, but I do like Beast Coast Tunk. Uh, they make some really good stuff. All right. Come join the Husker fam if Tennessee football keeps going south. I will not root for Nebraska, buddy. In fact, it would be real. I do remember three years ago, Tennessee played Nebraska, and we spanked them really, really bad. Like Ben Milliken went and texted him for like two weeks. Um... And our basketball team, the Vols basketball is back, baby. Knock off number one Gonzaga. Took it to Penny Hardaway in Memphis. So, uh, that's all I really got for mail call right now. Got a pretty big package from Lou's on the way. Uh, pretty excited to see what those guys have sent me. They said they're going to hook me up. And then, uh, next week, it's going to be Christmas on tackle tuesday i believe so i want to talk about we'll talk about whatever we'll just get on here q a tennessee did not beat kansas and we lost in overtime that was probably a preview of the national title game uh so but you guys come up with an idea for a topic for christmas uh, we can play Santa Claus. You tell me what you got, and I'll tell you if it was thumbs up or thumbs down, and we'll go from there. And, uh, I don't expect a lot for Christmas. I'm just going to be awesome. Uh, excuse me. I'm, I'm just blessed that, uh, I have a great family. Um, my little boy, my wife, my little girl, uh, they mean a lot to me, and... 
Brad, yes. I've got a source for the jank shirts. Uh, autumn hats are coming per map. And um, just really blessed to, for all the guys that subscribe and watch the live shows every week. Uh, you know, I don't have much of an ego. I, I do this for fun. Uh, eventually, I'd love to be able to do YouTube for a living and not have to build windows at night. But until then, it's just a part-time deal. Um, I'm going to try to keep working on my website some more. Uh, again, I'm slacking on that, but now I'm getting some time. I got a buddy that's going to help out and do some product reviews and stuff. And uh, we'll go from there because I would really like the Bateman.com to take off and be... Uh, people's website you know i'm not selling out i'll review what i want to review uh and talk about what i want to dude that's a great combo uh rich great combo i think zach i appreciate it and uh you know i just like to have fun on here my goal was to get 10,000 subscribers on youtube this year and i think i'm close to 8,500. so i'm not going to complain i'm just going to have to grind harder and it's nobody else's fault but me. I've got content I need to get done uh, and upload. Uh, but things happen. Yeah, man, my wife cooks some tacos, man. I'm not going to lie. They're barking. They're barking. So, uh, guys, I hope you all have a great weekend. And uh, I enjoy coming on here, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, every week. And thank you guys so much. Be sure... To check out all these companies that sent me stuff. Trophy Bass Company. Use the code BAITMAN. 20% off your order. That's $2 off for every 10 you spend. Uh, Black Label Balsa. You can buy them at Tackle Warehouse. Or their website. v &M. Uh, Who else? Advantage Bait Company. AdvantageBait.com. Check those guys out. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend. And hopefully your mail calls are awesome as well.